What's up guys and gals, and welcome back, and today we play Zucosis. And maybe you've noticed, but just in case you haven't, over the last several months we've tried out several different occupations. We literally worked the graveyard shift at an actual graveyard. We moved to Japan and became night security. We even went back to school for psychology and tried our hands at that, and they all led to failure. But it's time to pull up our big boy panties. It's time to quite literally shovel animal shit. It's time to become a zookeeper. So grab your latex gloves. The name is Mad Max, and I hope you enjoy the show. Non-disclosure agreement for the Night Zookeeper of Pine Valley Zoo. The definition of confidential information. Any information obtained by the Night Zookeeper during his employment is considered confidential. The night zookeeper undertakes not to disclose confidential information to third parties during and after termination of employment. In the event of injury or death of the night zookeeper while performing work duties, the employer is not liable to his relatives or other lawful representatives. Effective upon signing and is considered indefinite, the night zookeeper or his lawful representatives agree not to involve the police or other law enforcement agencies regarding death, injury, or other events occurring during work at Pine Valley Zoo. Any disputes shall be resolved through negotiations before resorting to legal Let's action. Let's not waste time here. You'll be sitting here all night, and I've got more important things to attend to. Listen here, Mr. Metzger. I'm trying to figure out why I gotta sign an NDA for this crap. Any changes to the agreement require written consent from both parties. Okay, I'll sign it. The sweet signature. Excellent. Oh. You made the right move. Just a couple more things and you'll pull your family out of poverty. I really hope so. Attach this to your chest. Our scientists require us to do this to see everything that happens in the enclosures. Scientists? I thought this was a zoo. True. Never thought that the smart Alex belong right in the zoo? <laughs> hope you got the joke. Excellent. Now let's get started. First, grab your personal PDA. It's necessary for interacting with all the work objects. Congratulations, you've taken the first step to becoming a part of our close-knit zoo family. Wait, what's, what's this for? He'll find out later. What the F just happened? This fat a-hole's dragging me. Oh, are you finally awake? Good, get up, it's time to get to work. What the hell? What did you do to me? I took care of your health. Working with animals requires prevention. You wouldn't want to bring some kind of infection home, would you? By the way, I took your phone as well. I'll return it in the morning after the shift. Oh, hell no, dude. I'm about to freaking beat so your fat ass. Job? I thought we had an interview. My wife is waiting for me outside. The job will be yours if you make it through the night. We are oddly calm about I this. I still have a lot to show you. Uh. We. Help! Help! Aw, oh, crap. Well. This sucks. <laughs> we just got freaking faxed. It's quite spacious here. Yep, this is our hub. You'll have plenty of everything here, except time. Now we're in the cold room. Here we store herbs, vegetables, and fish while the meat gets ground into portions for the animal rations. And right now we're running low on herbs and vegetables. Got the hint? Get to it. You can find the instructions in your PDA. Okay, load two herbal and one vegetable bricks into the brick trolley. herbs of vegetables what did it say two can we pick one up at Come a time on, we're not playing here shut up most of the okay. bricks will be left as a reserve and take these ones with you it's time to show you our workhorse we just push it Oh God! Ooh, what was that? There's something in the works that you're not ready to know about yet. Let's start with the basics. Okay. 
And here's our K-A-T-I-E, Kinetic Automated Transport with Innovative Engineering. Katie will take you around the zoo. This is the refrigeration compartment. You need to load the brick trolley here. Until you load it here, Katie won't budge. To load the brick trolley, you need to activate the lever. There we go. Now Simple enough. Select the giraffe enclosure on the control panel and start the train. What? That's not it. Kitchen. Gadget. That. In here? Yep. Giraffes, wallabies, gorillas, penguins, zebras, My time is mooses. not infinite. Will you shut your freaking fat mouth? Hippotamuses and elephants. Fasten your seat belts and sit up straight. Let's go. So we're at the giraffe station. Now listen carefully. I won't repeat it twice. This is our mobile veterinary station. Here you'll be mixing medications for our animals. Okay. Are they sick? Well, they can be. We need to closely monitor the health of the animals. We have some quite rare specimens, so the thought of anything happening to them is out of the question. Take this seriously, and we should all be safe for another day. Follow me. Safe for another this day. This is our kitchen zoo. factory. To collect feces for tests, you have to feed the animal its favorite food. Here's where you'll prepare it. Choose the recipe from the list. Cut, mix, and you're done. Any questions? Yes. Excellent. The <laughs> zoo needs those who aren't afraid to ask. But even more so, it needs those who find answers themselves. All right, enough chit-chat. I chit don't like this Go guy. Go to the cutting table. Let's see. You need to select the giraffe from the list. The giraffe. Click on... Okay. Click on the cut button to slice or don't make a mistake with the weight oh. the exact measurement is displayed on the weight indicator measure carefully so that would be three maybe right there excellent Paul. <laughs> cut now do the same with the herbal brick from the recipe Sweet. go ahead and that's like halfway we freaking got this is ready. Now activate the lever to lower the gadget trolley. Okay. Not so bad. Now drag the trolley to the gates. You freaking drag. You need to work off them Dunkin' Donuts. I'm so sorry, guys. I really do like Dunkin' Donuts. I'm just nervous. I don't know what to say. <gasps> ah. <laughs> that was a big ass lizard. Oh, the zoo could be organized like this. A train, trolleys. Look at him yes, walk. Well, our zoo is quite He's got like unique. a smirky walk. It's our pride. You won't see anything like it in others. Pride? Then why has the zoo been closed for the second year? People say the zoo is going through tough times. How would I know? I'm just a simple man. Clock in and clock out. How long have you been working here? Long enough to teach you everything. Come on, move the trolley. This is the entrance to the enclosure. To open the door, you need to insert your PDA into the enclosure terminal and select Open Enclosure. Okay. Like this? Bo, Po, and Cleo. We are in the enclosure. Now we need to feed our little creatures. Take the bucket oh. and dump the food in the feeding area. Uh. We got the bucket. Ah! Oh, what? Look at them, they're so cute. Is it because I'm, <laughs> I'm carrying food? Where are we going? The feeding area. <laughs> yeah, they're following me, that's awesome. I don't know where I'm going though. What's up, Poe? Huh. Not in there. Maybe over this way. That noise. Dude, these freaking giraffes are awesome. I want one. 
Here we go. Oh, that looks appetizing. Okay. Task is completed. That's, uh... Oh, right, I don't know. Can we run? Oh, we can. Great. Now put on the MFE. What's that? Mobile fecal extractor. That sounds In lovely. In terms, a shit sucker. <laughs> You've eaten shit before. Now you're going to suck it. I don't... No. I really want to just Why punch this dude in the face. We need to constantly monitor the health of the animals, and taking excrement for tests is one of your key tasks. A uh, hundred thousand a year, Paul. What? A hundred thousand fucking American dollars. You just have to collect the shit. <laughs> Come on, Paul. Don't chicken out. A hundred thousand dollars, and I gotta suck up animal shit. All right then. How do I know where to find the animal? Oh, that's it. Steaming piles of freaking giraffe crap. How much do I got to get? Three piles, three giraffes. Task is complete. Let's go take this thing back. Now take the TIS. To avoid unnecessary questions, it's a thermal imaging system. You can just call it a thermal imager. It's needed to determine the body temperature of our animals. Okay. Good. Now install it and measure the temperature of the giraffes. I just walk up to him. I just... Oh, dude, check that out. I want one. We got a bow. Okay. We got bow. Ooh, that was a little hot. Hold up, Leo, don't go nowhere. This freaking hooker. Listen here, lady. Gotcha. Alright, so... Yeah, Poe's not feeling well. He's a little hot. He's got fever. Some gadgets are still lying around different stations and storage rooms. What? When you're there, grab those too. Okay. That just said something. I don't know what he was talking about. As you can see, one of the giraffes isn't doing well. We need to make a dart with Temperalax. It's a medication for normalizing the temperature of animals. By the way, it was developed by one of the local eggheads. Interact with the terminal and press the exit and closure button. Okay. In the terminal, you can oh. check all the analyses you've collected in this enclosure. All right, take the trolley back to the train. Do I have to make some medications, too? Well, you studied chemical technology in Indiana. You'll manage. Damn. How do you know all this? Trust me, it's not something worth being surprised about here. But I barely lasted six months there. Got kicked out of the first year. No worries. That should be enough to mix a couple of ingredients following a ready-made formula. <laughs> There, there's something about this guy I just don't like. He's also in my way. I don't really like staring at your freaking ass. I need to be grateful. I got a job. Just got to shovel shit. Make some medicine. Make $100,000 a year. Congratulations. Take care of my family. Just come closer to success and the well-being of your family. Now, go and load the collected fecal matter into the biomaterial receiver. Don't carry anything into the car. Everything must be sterile. And don't forget to put the shit sucker back in its place. So we grab this and... Here? DC, what the hell is that?
And I guess we did it. Put this back. Is that blood? What do I gotta do now? Do I gotta like put this thing back in it? so jumpy now you need to load the trolley into the train to do this press the lever inside the car I don't like you excellent now this is our mobile vet station to make temporal acts you need to load the station with enough vials I did it this time, but in the future, you'll have to gather the vials yourself to cook it up. But keep in mind, chum, there are not so many vials. Think twice before using them. Dude, that smile. Okay. So. Tranquilizer. Lethal injection. Temporal axe. And we have a hundred of those. We need to. Okay. We'll just. We'll come back and look at this in a little bit. Perfect. Now take the dart from the dart dispenser. Cool, you've got temporal axe. Now load it into the veterinary gun. It's in the gadget trolley. And I shoot you with it. Good. Now the only thing left is to dart the sick giraffe. If I dart you, <gasps> it won't let me do it. <laughs> All right, well. The sick giraffe, Paul. Be careful. Don't confuse Bo with Poe. <laughs> <laughs> which one's which? We gotta shoot Bo. That's Cleo. Oh, all right. Ah! He just took off running. Get your butt back here. Oh! We have cured all the animals. Okay. So that was it. Was that? Oh. That wasn't too bad. We just gotta. So we just gotta check on animals and cure them, I guess. So everything went smoothly? Seems like it. I did this for the first time. Hopefully he'll get better soon. Well, don't doubt that. We need to get back to the hub. Okay. Let me put this up. Here we go. And to the hub. Let's go, Paul. Escort me to the exit. It's time to leave you alone with our lovely zoo facilities. It is kind of nice, though, but I'm not going to forgive you for freaking sticking me in the arm with that freaking vax. this Ooh. what's that what if I put all these together and stuck him in his butt every oh. zookeeper is entitled to a service car this one's mine <gasps> if you that a wife? well tonight you'll get one in the morning is that your wife should I tell her you're staying here for the night Keep in mind, I'll lock you in until morning. No problem. I think she'll figure it out and go home soon. What? As you wish. <laughs> Just gonna sit out there in the rain? Don't mess up. Look how sad. She's in the rain, dude. And. I want one of those. 
<laughs> that thing just took off. Uh, oh my Paul, god. You entered here who knows how long ago. You're not answering calls. I'm worried. Uh, answer. Lily, sweetheart. Sorry. Didn't hear you right away. Everything's okay. They put me on probation, but I had to start immediately. You should just go home. I'll be back in the morning and tell you everything. Paul, but I saw them lock you up. It's not normal. Yeah, it's just protocol here. They took away my phone and made me sign an NDA. Yeah, it's weird. And all I have to do is feed and treat the animals. Oh, uh, and by the way, uh, there's plenty of meat here. I want my girls to finally eat normal food. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna give them meat from the zoo? Is it in this room? Maybe, maybe not. Where the hell would the meat be? No. What is this? Oh, okay, not in there. Raven, Summers, that's all locked. It's our stuff. Maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe we're going to get it out of that room. Oh, we, we got to get the trolley, don't we? Herbs, fish, meat. There you go. It's like packaged steaks. It's like, you know, like, <laughs> I'm sure some of y'all seen it. You know, they're like the Omaha Steak Company that drives around and is like, here you go, here's your crap ton of meat for God knows how much money. Lily, are you here? Yeah. Take this. Give Gina a kiss from Daddy. It's time for me to work. Sweet. Can't tell her bye, though. Alright, well. I guess we're by ourselves. Let's see. Go to the next enclosure. Check the enclosure. Feed the animals. Collect analysis. That'll work, right? And we got this. Freaking easy peasy. That's it, right? Yeah. Wallaby, that's the next one. Then it's gorillas. updated check the enclosure feed the animals and collect the analysis measure the temperature measure the sound submit blood submit feces all right so we didn't do two of those last time but there's definitely more stuff on there okay so one of those must be the sound thing but we got to feed them too right and wallaby we need two okay we got plenty We have five. Oh god. The hell is that? That's like 2.75. Right there. Ooh. Not quite. You've deviated from the recipe. Okay. Oh god. Here. Oh man. 
Devi this deviate. Okay, it's acceptable. So it doesn't have to be precise. I like that. I like that. So now we can feed them. We have everything we need. Drop the trolley. And let's go. Getting phone calls. Night zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Oh, thank God, finally. Uh, please don't hang up. I've been trying to reach my husband all day. He's a scientist, Clarence J. Summers. People usually call him CJ. I don't I'm know. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm here alone. Please check for me. He should be in the lab. Uh, is there a lab here? Oh, I understand. You're new. Then, one last request. Look in his locker in the break room. Code 1768. Ma'am, this doesn't feel right. Paul, I'm begging you. CJ needs to take his medication regularly. I just want to make sure he has them with him. Just open the locker, that's all. I'll call back. Uh... Yeah, maybe in a little while. We got things we gotta do, what's this? Fido con oh. <gasps> Look, there's stuff everywhere. Dang. I thought he said there wasn't very many. What is this? What the hell did we just find? Anthony Hopwood. I just saw something horrible. I shot lethal dart, but one wasn't enough. It took around 300 milliliters, but it worked. Fuck. It worked. I'm alive. Uh... Okay. So what does that mean? He shot three darts at it? Okay. Huh? Okay. <laughs> That's them walking around outside. <gasps> it's just making a cute little noise. Stop it. Ooh, we got four. Penny, Sally, Amy, and Wally. Dude, Wally's with three chicks? Lucky little devil. Oh, dude, look at him! Oh, I can pet him! Oh! I want to pet one so bad. So, feed him first, right? Feed the animals, and then do all the analysis stuff. Gotta find... Oh, feeding areas right there. Don't worry, guys. Look, I got it. Oh, dude, look at him. I'm so excited. Yeah, get your food. Your slot. Oh, my God. Their little noises are so cute. All right, they're eating, so let's go ahead and do... And... Put that back. Looks like they're done eating. Or at least... Oh, look, it's pooping already! Hundred thousand dollars a year. Has everyone pooped? Oh, there's some. Well. Oh, there it is. We got all of it. Now we gotta do temperature. All right, Penny, you're next. Mm 
All right, Penny's good. Oh, we got Amy. Damn it! Let's get Wally. Wally seems okay. Amy? Got her. So we got what? Penny, Amy, Wally, and Sally. Stop moving. Sally! Stop your shenanigans. Oh my god, dude, stop. Holy crap, animals, stop it. Oh. You sack of... Got it. A little freaking jerk. She wouldn't stop moving. Now, what else we gotta do? Uh... Asa. Well, that's you. Okay, what is this? Hurts. That's it. That's loud. All right, we got Wally. Penny. Amy, okay. And Sally. They won't stop moving. What have we done? We're gonna get Wally. Oh! Aww. Yeah, that's not so bad. We got Wally. I gotta try to remember this. Here's Sally. Hey, get your little ass back over here. Dude, she won't stop moving. Good penny. Oh, we got, we need Sally. Oh, and Amy, they're all in here. Already got Penny. It won't let me do it. Look, I'm just gonna pet it. Come here, Amy. Okay, guys. So, I can't get those other two to get their blood. They're like, it won't let me do it. So, I'm wondering if maybe, like, I need to go hit them with, like, a trank dart or something. We're going to find out. Because we got all their crap. But they have, like, it's like their, their, temp their sounds are all jacked up. I don't know. Let's just go take this stuff back and... I don't know. So we're missing... We're missing this. Bacterial infection transmitted through water, contaminated with animal urine, affecting kidneys, liver, and other organs. Their crap's fine. Crafting... It induces relaxation and sleep. I could dose them with this. I wonder if I should try that. I think I hit her. It didn't do anything. It didn't help her. Oh, look. Oh, she's going... She's been scratched. Mm. 
It worked. Okay. So what was the other one's name? <laughs> we got Penny, we got Wally. Sally's sleeping for two minutes. Go to sleep, Amy. Go to sleep, Amy. Good girl. It's okay. We're gonna take care of you. It's okay. She's all jacked up too, look. It's okay. I got you. I just gotta make sure I can treat you. Now. What are we working with here? Blood. Oh, so they got yep, blood. So they have lepto. I probably could have told you that based off of. Uh... <laughs> they got crap all over them. There it is. So we can just go straight out here, though, right? And it's Sally and Amy. I wonder if they're still sleeping. Amy's still sleeping. Got her. We need Sally. Got him. That's what I'm talking about. We're freaking awesome. Ah. Hello? Night Zookeeper, Paul Connolly. I'm sorry, ma'am. I haven't had a chance to look around yet. What's with the ma'am? Oh, nothing. Uh a woman called, looking for someone named CJ, searching for her husband. That bitch again. <laughs> Although CJ's no saint either, always hanging around some girls, lying to his wife that he's in the lab, and we don't even have labs here. Anyway, forget it. Why am I calling you? There'll be a food delivery soon, and you need to grind some fresh meat. Got it? Yes, sir. Excellent. I'll call you later. Interesting. Okay. Well, look, that wasn't too bad, guys. We freaking cured the giraffes. We cured the wallabies. We're doing freaking... Ah! Oh. <sighs> that freaking asshole freaking drugged us. Oh, my God. Like I was trying to say before we started freaking yakking it. We're doing pretty good. I'm going to put everything up. Maybe we can bring this back up, right? I'm not gonna lie, guys, that really got me for a second. I thought something was wrong. But. Okay. Um. What do we gotta do? Go to the next enclosure. But we gotta return to the hub and activate the supply. So we're gonna go to the next enclosure. That will be the gorillas. So, before we go. What do gorillas eat? Gorillas are going to eat. And we have... It looks like we have plenty of that. Maybe more vegetables. But... What if we... I don't want to... I don't want to move it yet. Okay. So... 
I think we've got plenty of stuff for, for the gorillas. Let's go back to the hub. We've got a food delivery or something. Is this it? What the F? Oh my God. Hello? Damn, I, I mean, Night Zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Don't worry, Paul, it's me again. How's it going? Do you need any explanations? Lots. Oh, I definitely do. I thought you had beef or, uh, I don't know, lamb in the fridge. And there, and there's a long neck pig. You see, Paul, dozens of parasites spread from the mother every day. They infiltrate our animals and they turn into, how shall I put it? Well, monsters. What? And they have specific tastes. They need meat. What the, what the hell is the mother? <laughs> Relax, the mother is securely locked away. Not much is known about her, so they study her. Forget about it. You know your tasks. Don't worry about the rest. Fuck! I gave a piece of meat to my wife. You did what? <laughs> oh my god, we Sorry, did! Sorry, Paul, but it's really ridiculous. Life gives you a chance to become a worthy, well-off person, and you take the easy way. Descending to simple theft. There won't be any more indulgence. So if they say grind bodies, you grind. They'll say kill, you kill. Got it? Got it. Just tell me where my phone is. I'll call Lily. Maybe she and Gina haven't eaten yet. I won't allow it, chum. If you call your wife, it'll be a direct violation of the NDA. No, Paul, you won't drag me into this. You'll have to fully feel the consequences of your oh, misdeed. Oh my god, dude. And now stop whining and go to work. This is the most jacked up job I've ever had. I thought freaking grave digging was the worst. You know, pulling rings off little old ladies. Oh my God, but she's, look at her wreck. <laughs> oh my God, dude, she's, a, I gotta kill people. Hello? The night zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Why so grim? Problems? Uh, what the hell is going on here? Fuck. I almost threw a live girl into the grinder. Where did she come from? Alive? Well, well. 20 milozylazine and she's still with us. But fortunately, this problem is easy to solve. Pull the drop lever and the girl will turn into a couple of bricks, just like you've dealt with before. Easy peasy. Fuck. I haven't done this I before. I this place wasn't clean, but uh, why else such big bucks? I can grind a couple of bodies, but I'm not going to get involved in crime and risk my family. Fuck you. Well, no one is asking you. In general, look at your hands. What the hell is this? <gasps> Did you poison me? Poison? <laughs> Who do you think I am? A desperate housewife. What, no, dude, Paul, what did this just turn I into? I infected you. And by the way, I did it for your own good. You see dozens of go parasites back to nice security. spread out of the mother every Japan day. Japan didn't pay much, they but... They infiltrate our animals, and they transform... They didn't have to kill to nobody. Well, let's say they mutate. What the hell is this damn mother? <laughs> Not much is known about her, so they study her. But right now, the same parasite is squirming inside you. And if you behave well, they'll take it out. And if not, who knows? Maybe it will be even better for Lily and Gina. Fuck! Dude, that's jacked up, man. Oh my god, dude. I gotta drop this poor freaking girl. She's freaking hot. I gotta drop her into the grinder. I don't even know if I can show that. It's such a waste. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, what are we doing? I just did something. Oh no, we done messed up. I wouldn't do it. 
There's a naked girl on my couch. <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not. We done messed up, bro. They're gonna freaking throw us in there. Oh my god. Okay. Look, gorillas. Let's just let's just focus on this. <laughs> I got messed up. Oh. Okay. Check the enclosure, feed the animals. Uh Okay, hold up. I'm so freaking Oh my god, I'm stressed. You're so hot. Okay. I can get in this new stuff, right? Can we just like bust out of here? <gasps> Floppy disk. Jay Summers. Jay Summers experiment 23. Testing experimental meds on mutated specimens. They don't work during the frustration phase. The pathological cell division process must be completed. In other words, the organism must fully mutate. Access to experimental drugs is located at the vet station. Animals can see when I'm aiming at them. I need to approach them from behind. Okay. Okay, cool. That's cool. That makes sense. So, it says something about... What is that? Oh my god. It's like a squid. Okay. Ma'am, can I cover you up? I mean, I kind of don't want to. That's messed up. Why'd I say that? I gotta quit talking. Okay. We have... I, I don't know, guys. I... It said something about, like, prepare meat, and I think there was, like, one... Oh, there wasn't any meat, was there? All the meat's gone. We should have freaking dropped her. I don't know if I can do that. Okay, um... One and two point... We have plenty. We have plenty. We have plenty. Let's just go to the gorilla cage. freaking out. I'm freaking out. Check the enclosure, feed the animals, collect... Okay. Let's prep the, uh, food for the gorilla. We can deviate a little bit. That's 1.5, almost one point. Eight. Oh dang, that was a lot. Oh my god, it's acceptable though, look at that, we got close. Okay. We got everything we need, right? I'm freaking out. Let's drop this. Guys, I don't know what to do. My freaking heart rate's pounding. I think I messed up. I freaking took that girl off the hook. I've already messed up and gave my wife freaking food. Oh, hold up. There's stuff in there. Oh. What is this? Oh, another one from him. I finally found a way to cure that damn mutant with the experimental meds. I found access on some CJ's PDA. Looks like he's an important dude around here. Gave the mutant an injection of toxic... Toxicus Feralis. And this shit really worked. Awesome news. And by the way, it seems mutants can mimic different diseases. I'll keep an eye on it. Oh my god, dude. So hold up. Oh, dude, no. So can they, like, mess with... <laughs> I'm so confused. 
Got another one from Anthony Hayward. This is the third one. Right? When they turn, the meat can calm them down. <gasps> oh, that's good to know. That's actually really good to know. Okay, any more vials? Okay. Get back up here. I'm getting distracted. I'm just, I'm so freaking nervous, guys. Like, I don't exactly... Oh! Dude, I'm, go I'm about to walk into a gorilla cage. That just does not sound like a good idea. Welcome to the gorilla enclosure. Dexter, Pepper, Thor, and Chief. That poor freaking chick is in there with three males. Hey, guys. Can I pet you? Oh, I can rub them. Oh, thank God. I'm not a fan of monkeys, guys. They, like, freak me out. They freak me out. Okay. I got your food. A couple of them look a little upset. Look at them. So, it looks like, if I was reading that right, if these things turn, we can cure them. We can cure them. And we can, uh, calm them down. Okay, that was quick. I probably should have did the temperature is what I should have done. It looks like it does multiples at the same time. Get him, 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 get him. Oh, you suck. All right, all the temperatures look fine. They let me get blood test. Let's grab their poo. That looked kind of funny. Did y'all see that? Maybe not. Alright, it's going pretty good. This is smooth. All right, Pepper, you gonna let me get your blood? Oh yeah, good girl. Good girl. What about you, Thor? You gonna let me take your blood? That's Dexter, not Thor, I'm so sorry. You're better looking. Good boy. Okay. And... Looks like the other two are in here. We got Chief and Thor. What's up, Chief? Here we go. I got you, sir. You're good, man. What about you, Thor? You're so strong. Yeah, scratch your butt. Yeah, I just, this thing's gonna look at me. Oh. oh, they didn't like that. I was going to pet you. Can I drop down? I think we got it all. We got the sound. We got temperatures. We got everything.
Nice. I'm still freaking nervous about that chick. Ooh, look. Right, let's do this. We did it. We're gonna put that up. Now it's the blood. There we go. All right, well, who's who's sick is... Oh, just blood. BSI. Bacteria or other pathogens enter the bloodstream. Okay, we're going to do this. A blood disease, right? Serious illness. Yeah, okay. And there was two of them. Okay. Dark gun. We're gonna put that back up. I think we're good, right? Ah! <gasps> oh no! What did it say? I don't know what that is. Is that a freaking disease? Oh God, I don't want to do this. I'm done, I quit. But it said I can calm it down, right? Oh God. Okay, so it said I can calm it down. With meat, with meat, with meat, with meat, with meat. I don't have any meat. I don't have any freaking meat. Oh my God, that means I have to kill it. That means I have to kill it. I have to kill it. I don't know how many of these I actually need. I think I need three. I think it said I needed three of these. Okay. I need animal blood to freaking make the thing. How do I do it? I didn't even see it. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Where's it at? <gasps> I got you. <gasps> what in the F is that? Oh my God. And I got a heal chief, right? No. I got a chief, don't worry. I'm so sorry. I'm going to heal you. Okay. Chief's healed. Oh, and Dexter. So he was just I was going to mess that up anyway. Because I thought he was one of them. <gasps> oh my. How do I get that out? Oh, I bet I got to suck it out. Oh, dude. Like he freaking busted everything down. <gasps> ah! Oh, shit got real. Shit got real. Oh. Okay. Uh. MFE. All right, hold up. We've delivered some fresh meat. Head to the hub and... Okay. I wonder if I can... 
Oh my god. <gasps> okay. Now, to make a... It said to make the disease. Oh my god, I can't talk, guys. Okay, so it said to make the, uh, the cure. I need animal blood. So, does that mean... Does that mean, um... Dude, what is... Oh my lord, man. Huh. Does that mean, uh... Can I go back and take blood from him? You know, as like a precautionary thing? It won't let me. It won't let me. Okay. Okay, it won't let me do it. Good God, dude. It said save the other animals, so like the mutated creature would have killed him. So at least we saved three, right? We done good? Or did we do bad because we... <laughs> because we didn't kill that chick. I mean, gosh, y'all saw her. She was attractive. I couldn't do it. Okay. Um... We're gonna have to get some food. The next one is the penguins. Okay. Penguins, penguins, penguins. What do penguins eat? The penguin just needs fish. But what about an infected penguin, just in case? Fish and meat. Okay. Okay, we got this. We freaking got this. I'm learning. I'm learning. Let's get back. Okay. Yep, look, meat delivery. Please don't be another chick. Wait, hold up. Oh! <gasps> Oh, oh my god, lady! Ah! She's got some clothes on, though. It's oh. okay. <gasps> I won't touch you. I'm the night zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Dude, she's hot. You? Sarah Watkins, investigative journalist for Pine oh Valley. Oh my god. Thanks for saving me. Too bad I can't return the favor. Oh, you can what return you the favor. You're gorgeous. You probably already know that you've been injected with something, some kind of parasite. You also know something about these parasites, but how do you know? Sorry, bro. Journalists don't reveal their sources. I can only say that we don't have much time. I just and saved the main thing your now life. Now let's open this stupid door with a biometric lock to gather evidence for the article and expose these bastards. Can you help me? Uh, probably not. Yeah. I like your nose ring. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to leave her there, I guess. Uh, I done messed up, guys. I'm gonna get freaking eaten. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh my god, I gotta do this. Please just be an animal. Oh! Are you alive? No, you're not. You got blood coming out of your eyes. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm not gonna watch that. Ah. Forgot what it said. Okay, it was just fi for the penguins. It's just fish and meat. Okay, and I'm gonna put two things of meat on here. We're gonna put one thing of meat in here. And it says fish. It gave me four things of fish. It said something. Three pounds. I'm just, I'm just gonna take two. I don't remember how much it said. Wait a minute. Zebras need, I mean, it's not penguins. They need two kilograms of fish. That's three, but if I need to make a, yeah, we're gonna take that out. 
I'm trying to do math in my head. I'm freaking out. I think I've messed up. I mean, it's really cool this chick's over here doing that, but I think I might have just... I might have just ruined my family. I mean, she's pretty hot, so maybe it'll be worth it. Okay. Uh, penguins. Penguins. The bio waste filter... What? What? This thing's... Oh, God. Ah! That's a hand. That's a hand. That's a hand. Get out of my way. Wait, is this a human hand? Where did you get it? Don't worry about it, babe. Right where you almost ended up. Somehow I feel like... Well, never mind. Try to use it on a scanner. That's what I was planning to do. Cool. That Let's green go light makes her look good. Their experiments. We're about to die. We're gonna die. Oh no. I'm not sure I want to go in. I just want to get through this night and go back to my family. Are you out of your mind? There's a parasite in you. You'll mutate soon. Do you think anyone will let you out of here? Anyway, it's up to you, but if I close this door, I won't let you in. Oh guys, I gotta do it. Can you give me that axe though? Oh my god, dude. Yes, I'm following you. Oh, look at that fat sack of crap who eats donuts. Disgusting face. A pure maniac who lacks a personal life. And vitamin B9. That's Doc. My daytime shift colleague. For a daytime zookeeper, your Doc has too many scientific degrees. I bet he's the head honcho here. Dude, this just took us so much of a turn. I love it. Jay Summers. Now we know who extended a helping hand to us. Poor CJ. Oh, no. Did you know him? No. Why? No. Dude, okay, I'm bringing this freaking fat asshole down. Oh. <gasps> it seems they cause mutations in humans as well as animals. Oh my God, guys, what am I doing? What am I doing? What is it? Oh, cell phone. Oh, my cell. Battery for one call. Damn, I need to call my wife urgently. Don't call. Let's find something substantial and then we can call the police. Good point. No, no, she's right. Fantastic. She's right. There's a computer, but no data. Floppy disk? Where'd you get that? I found it in one of the lockers. Well, of course. Here's the password. Damn. You're not a hacker by any chance, are you? Not even close. I can guess the password only if I know who came up with it. Damn. Then we're at a dead end. Ah! <laughs> what is this? Time to deal with another mutant. Fuck. Let's still call the cops. At least they'll get us out of here. I'll think about it. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Where'd that axe go? I'm gonna hide in here. I'm gonna take a puss. Oh crap, guys. Oh god. I don't have anything to do with it. Oh no. So wait a minute. Do I have to go to the next enclosure then? I'm thinking I have to go to the next enclosure to like go to all the different areas. Oh, please don't be it. <gasps> okay, good. Thank God. Okay. Okay. Let's 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 go to the penguin enclosure. At this point, I don't even care, dude. I want to kill this freaking fat doctor. Penguins. Penguins. 
The penguins need just two things of fish. That'll be easy. Oh, <laughs> like a little swordfish. All right, so two, boom, right? About right there. Oh, that was close. Dude, this is so trippy, man. I'm freaking, I'm loving this. Absolutely loving this. We just gotta be on the lookout for more of those vials. I'm not taking any chances. I'll try to, I'll try to, ooh, what's that? I'll try to pacify the animal with the meat if I can, but. I really, uh, I really just wanna bring this fat a-hole down. Got a whole bunch. I don't know how to do... Hold up. We have that parasite. Does that mean... Nope. We have to have animal blood. I thought maybe just for a second, like, we could, you know, take animal blood and use it to create, but maybe if we already have it when it mutates, maybe. But then we'd still have to know what it's, what it's uh, mimicking. What does this say? Note added. I have to observe the behavior of animals. Sucosis can manifest itself in strange actions and weird movements. Oh God. So does that like mean they're gonna act all weird? Oh, <laughs> this guy's I'm like, oh, Tinker, Daisy, Misty, Rocky. Oh, it's two for two. But y'all mate for life, right? I got your freaking fish. Oh, there's one, two, there's five. Luna? Luna's not feeling good already. I can see it. Dude, how many are in here? All right, yeah, y'all come get some food. I'm gonna try to, I, I think a freaking penguin's coughing. I should have grabbed that already. Knock them all out at one. Oh no, it's only getting Daisy. It's running, dude. This, you're it, aren't you? Oh, you are hot. Coco's got a fever. And I'm pretty sure she's throwing up. I didn't see how many were actually in here. It's gonna be freaking Coco. But I got I gotta grab their freaking crap. It's five. I didn't look. Oh my god, I'm gonna mess this up. Oh no, there's six. Where's Luna? That's one. It's two. I got, oh, there's Luna. Dang it, Luna. Got her. Okay. Got Luna. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... It's three. I can put this thing up now, right? Yeah. And let's go ahead and do blood if I can. We've got three things of crap. All right, Coco will not let me get blood. Luna will not let me get blood. 
Daisy will not let me get blood. What about Rocky? See, Rocky's kind of cute. Tinker? Tinker won't let me get blood. Misty will, though. Oh, there's more. That's four now. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep the blood. And let's just let's do this. Be a number of things right here. I don't know, guys. I've got to at least make uh, a couple tranks. Like four. That is not good. Okay. Please don't mutate. I don't really want to freaking kill a cute little penguin. Luna's one. I got Misty's blood. Oh God, I need y'all to go to sleep. I'm stuck guys. There should be another one sleeping somewhere. Dude, I feel like I already got Coco. Got Rocky. We got Daisy. Got Misty. Got Tinker. We got Luna. Okay. I feel like I'm missing a freaking bird. Before I shoot another one, though. Go grab this. And One. Dart it. Get your little freaking vampire penguin ass back here. Oh, God, guys, I missed. I don't know if it's gonna make him go to sleep or not. <gasps> For like a minute. Okay, we got one minute. We're just gonna kill it. We're gonna
we're gonna kill it. Oh no. Oh no. Why? Why? What am I supposed to do? It won't. It won't let me in. Oh no. And I can't crouch. What did I do? What did I do? I did something wrong again. What am I supposed to do? Oh! It, it ate a penguin! I don't know what's happening. I, I can't fight it if I can't do anything to it. No! He killed Misty. change none of you change freaking jerk huh I, I need I need blood don't I? all right so we just got to make some lethal injection doses here I think I got everybody's temperature That was messed up, man. It wouldn't let me in there. Okay, who's... Who do I not have? And... Misty's dead. But I don't have Daisy or Tinker. But this is the one that's sick, is Coco. Salmonella infection caused by Salmonella bacteria resulted in symptoms like fever. Diarrhea, okay. So, we need Salmonella. Back to guard. Because it's a bacteria. And then... Okay. I don't... Guys, I'm not a freaking doctor. Yeah! We're gonna go back. We're gonna suck that freaking parasite out. What the hell? It's Doc, isn't it? Don't do it. Night Zookeeper, Paul Connolly. 
Hey, Paul, this is Mrs. Summers. Did you find oh, anything? Oh, no. Miss Summers, I'm sorry to say this, but it seems something terrible has happened to your husband. I... I found his hand. Just his hand. Oh, God. Call the cops. Miss Summers. Miss Summers, are you there? I understand you're in shock right now, but please call the police. Tell them that I and the journalist Sarah Watkins are <gasps> locked in Don't the old zoo. Sarah Watkins? Seriously? Is CJ messing around with that slut again? Well, now everything's clear to me. Tell her that these idiotic pranks won't work on me this time. You found CJ's hand? <laughs> Let that bastard try to come home. Oh, I won't just no. cut off his hand. I'll cut off his dick. <gasps> snip, snip. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> oh, God, dude. Everything's... Oh, I forgot this. Damn, something strange is happening to me. An overwhelming urge to eat this raw meat. My hand grabbed a piece on its own, and I devoured it almost without chewing. That sweet taste in my mouth. Mmm, sweet taste. Yep, we're about to be doing that here in a second. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> we are getting hurt to nasty. Pretty nasty. Oh god, she's back. <gasps> Damn, you look awful. Fuck you. Why didn't you mention that you slept with CJ? Is he your source? How do you know? Answer. Well, kind of. I slept with him. He promised information about the parasites. Instead, I got a bag over my head and a syringe with a tranquilizer. What if I tell you I found a floppy disk in his locker? Would it be easier for you to guess the password? Oh, shit. Why didn't you say that earlier? Yeah, I've been running around trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> Paul, we need to hurry. You're about to be paralyzed and then you'll mutate. But we can still save you. I'm going to send the poison formula to your PDA right now. <gasps> Paul, please, there's no time for that. Oh, God. What did you... You didn't send it to my thing. CJ came up with a poison formula that could work on Mother. She's connected to all the parasites. Kill her, kill them all. Uh-oh. Even those already parasitizing living organisms will die. Uh... Okay. The key to the creature's dis... Okay. I've discovered that the blood of the female parasite is the key ingredient. Its pheromones disrupt the creature's regeneration and strip away its defenses. These compounds are the essence of its demise. The other elements in the formula are mere catalyst, unless useless without the female's blood. Obtain the parasite, open the parasite storage, obtain parasite blood, prepare poison, give the poison to Sarah. Is this Sarah? I don't want to give anything to her except something else. Um. So then what do I do? Asshole. Oh, God. Parasite storage. I mean, surely there's parasite storage. That's not it. I mean... Oh, wait, right here. Oh. How to determine the female of a parasite. What? A parasitic species with the unique ability of females to be fertilized by several males. The males do not compete with each other, but show attention to the females. This reproductive strategy ensures high efficiency and adaptability in various environmental conditions. The PSMA. IV infested. This species of parasite stands out due to its unique adaptability and reproductive strategy. Females play an active role in searching for males, exploring their environment in search of suitable partners. Males, on the other hand, prefer to remain passive and do not exhibit activity towards other females. The Mimwai, a unique species of parasites where males exhibit high aggression and do not tolerate competition among themselves. They actively fight for the right to mate, using violence until only one survivor remains. The female of the species waits for the selection process. Detect a parasite and squeeze it. Oh god. What? 
Parasite's blood. So we have the blood. Prepare the poison. Poison for the mother. I'm so lost, guys. Okay. Now we gotta give the poison to Sarah? I have no idea what's going on. The poison is ready. What's next? Here's the injector. But I'm afraid we have a problem. Only Doc has access to oh my the God, look at her hands. from the mother's enclosure. And the mother must take poison with food. But the food must be alive. <gasps> my hands are fine. Oh, no, they're not. I don't know what to do. F it, dude. I'm a freaking self-righteous person. I'm sure there must be another way. Let's go to the mother's enclosure. Paul, you're about to be paralyzed. I think I won't be able to inject the poison myself. <laughs> you need to do it. No, I'll do better. I'll shed light on this shit. Just wait for the doc. This is doc. Faster. Inject me with the poison, Sarah. Hey, Paul, how are you feeling? By the way, I met your wife. Can you imagine she made burgers from the meat you stole and came to treat you? Now I have to turn her into meat. <gasps> but first, let's feed mother. Yes, Paul, that's right. No money, no easy solution to problems. The only thing you're good for is becoming a food for my girl. Yes. Mother, my girl, it's lunchtime. What the hell? Yes! This is for CJ! <gasps> Sarah Watkins, a journalist from Pine Valley. Everything recorded on this camera is authentic and will serve as evidence in my investigation against the CMS Watkins Corporation. You can go to hell, Dad. Oh! Paul saved Sarah and helped her with the investigation. However, he didn't call Lily, which led her to come to the zoo with a meat meal putting her in Doc's grasp. Lily is dead. Sarah's plan worked. She managed to inject Doc with poison. The poison was prepared correctly and the mother died. Paul's mutation was halted and he regained his senses in a hurry. No! Paul's daughter Gina wouldn't immediately learn what happened to her mother that day. Over time, she would find Sarah's article online and uncover the terrible truth. Holy crap, dude. I, I had no idea this was something that you had to like, based off your decisions. Oh man. Okay guys. So dude, that was so much better than what I expected. So much better. However, I guess I did almost everything right. So at this point, I don't really want to go back and I guess see what the bad ending is. Okay guys, I was just kidding. We do want to try to get that other ending, uh, though we probably know what it's going to say. However, when you click on this, these are all taken care of and we can go to all of these now. So Let's just say screw it. I want to go to the moose cage. The mooskas. Need two pounds, one pound. We have nine pounds. So, what's that? Not quite five. Four and a half. Oh, just over. Oh well. And a pound of one. Nah, screw it. That's pretty dang close. I don't know if I really want to go in the cage with the moose. Man, moose are mean. Mm -hmm. 
Imagine one of those like busting through. Aspen, Hank, and Finn. Good God. Can I pet you, Finn? You're so sweet. Moose are not that sweet. What the hell is that noise, though? Oh, he's, he's wigging out. They've been darted. Go ahead and grab the blood. There we go. And I wonder what's wrong with them. They were like freaking out. I wonder if they have like that migraine. Oh, he's he's got both. I got the blood out of both of them. Hell no. Did I not? Should have come. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Well, this sucks. We've got to kill it. Oh, I hear it. Crap. You know he's 
he's over here somewhere. Where'd he go? Got him. I'm probably not gonna get the parasite though, but maybe I will. Okay. Aspen, I got you. I don't know if I have your your partner's blood though. Okay. Oh man, dude, I wanted to see it mutate though. Okay, so you're good. Influenza. That sucks. No wonder it's freaking out. Gotcha. Don't worry, I took care of you. This thing. That is horrifying. Okay. Mooses are taken care of. Let's go. We took care of the moose. Dude, let's freaking mess with the hippos. All right. Um. Food. And. Temperature. Come here, Waffle. You don't want to eat? He's already sick, then. I would never, ever walk into a freaking zoo pen like this with hippos. Oh, they don't want to eat. Look. He's fine. Got Zoe. Temperature wise, they're okay. But they didn't want to eat. <laughs> That's interesting. Go ahead and, and do this real quick. She's okay. She's got an injury on her though, so. Waffles. Come here, Waffles. <laughs> that was probably the stupidest thing ever. Yep, you're getting sleepy. That's Bubba. Alright, Waffle. Yeah. Maybe... Maybe you can get them if you, like, stop them. I don't know. It kind of felt like they were, like, running. We need Bubba's blood, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get it from him. But see, he looks kind of... He looks stressed, doesn't he? I know what's going to happen is we're going to freaking do this and Bubba's going to be the one that changes. Let's go cure the hippos.
Oh. Oh God, you sack of garbage! Cured. It was Bubba. It was Bubba. That still sucks, though, man. I wanted to save him. Look at that shake. <laughs> oh, my cell. Battery for one call. Damn. I need to call my wife urgently. Don't call. Let's find something substantial, and then we can call the police. Nope. Ain't making that mistake again. I love her. Hello? Paul, is that you? You said they took your phone. I found where they hid it. Tell me, have you had dinner already? Oh, Paul, thank you. I decided to make roulade. The smell is all over the house. I can't wait for Gina to try it. You guys haven't eaten it yet? No, it's still in the oven. Gina is sleeping, and I feel guilty eating such a delicious dish alone. Don't eat it? Thank God. Lily, throw it away immediately. Paul, what are you talking about? Lily, darling, I'm sorry. No time to explain. My phone is about to die. Just do as I said. I'll be back home in the morning and I'll tell you everything. <gasps> you Fantastic. didn't work. There's a computer, but no data. I'm gonna go throw up real quick. Where are we going next? Let's go to the elephants. What is up, fellas? Hey, Kavi, cut your ass back here. But bar, oh, they're already running from me, and those two are sick. Can I pet you, Raja? Raja? <gasps> Don't hurt me, Raja. Oh, you want the food? <laughs> Alright, Raja's good, temperature-wise. Javi looks okay. Where's the other one? Oh, yep. The bar is freaking hot. Don't worry, Bavar. I'll take care of you. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That'd be so cool. I'm not gonna lie. I like elephants. good. Just gotta get your blood. Let's see if I can do it without using tranks. Oh, Raju's being a good boy. He's done this a bunch of times, I guess. Now, however, 
Yeah, these two are running from me, so. Yeah, I can't get Babar. What about Kavi? No? Alright, well, we're tranking you. I'm sorry. Uh oh. I'm doing something stupid. That's a good boy. There we go. We lost a moose and we lost a freaking hippo. We aren't going to lose an elephant. Oh, he had everything. The plague. Oh, God. That is. Estus, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That really sucked. Loved you. Freaking a hole. And you're the sick one, aren't you? Freaking Babar, it's okay. We're gonna fix you.
Okay, Babar. Oh, it sucks. Alright, she's chilling over there. I want to see if I can at least go to the zebra pin. any of that meat but we need herbs and veggies creature. If it lets me. Oh crap, oh, no shit. Ooh. What's happening to me? Uh, no. Uh, oh no. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Paul saved Sarah, but ignored the symptom of mutation, allowing the process to continue and transforming it into a monster. Mutation process were not fully understood in humans, so Paul mutated halfway. Like many subjects before him, Doc was torn apart by the claws of the mutated Paul. After dealing with Doc, Paul lunged at Sarah. All right, guys, so here we are. We're in the gorilla cage. We've done everything with uh, Sarah. I think that's what her name is. Uh, I think I have... I mean, look, we got freaking nine herbs, nine vegetables. We have six pounds of meat. So the goal here is we're gonna take care of the gorillas. And if one changes, hopefully we can satisfy it with meat and maybe save all of them. I don't know, I just wanna see what happens. Then we're gonna make this infected animal meat. Food bucket is not connected. Oh, dude, that was close. Oh, we are rocking this. One, two, three, four. Nope. Oh. That's three. Oh, God. That is freaking excellent. Now, I don't know what this is actually going to do. I'm assuming it's going to go off. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> I did that last time too. Hold up, I need a second. I need a second. Come here, dude. Oh. Okay, here we go. There's your slot. Sleep 
sleeping. Oh God! Oh wait, what's he doing? I'm so pissed off, I freaking made this stuff. And it didn't even do anything. Oh well. Freaking crap, man. Alright, which one needs a sick? Dexter's they're all, all the sick ones. Set, man, I gave him that freaking meal and this asshole didn't even eat it. We're gonna go with this sexy minx, know what we gotta Why do. do you need an axe? If you could see yourself, you wouldn't ask. And also, you smell like vomit. Wanna freshen up? I guess I should. Oh, wait a minute. This is different. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Hey, Sarah, what the hell? Sorry, Paul, you can mutate at any moment now, and I want to live. Stay here for a while. Bitch, I saved you! Paul, Paul, it's morning. Where are you, my friend? It's time to check how you handled your probation. Hmm, this is strange. <gasps> didn't help Sarah with her investigation. Terrified by his rapid mutation, Sarah locked him in the bathroom. Despite his pleas, she never came back for him. Soon his screams turned into agonizing groans and then bloodthirsty growls. To this day, Sarah's fate remains unknown. Okay guys, so here we are at the zebra pen. We're also gonna kill freaking Sarah because apparently that didn't help us out at all last time. That kind of irritated me. So we're killing that freaking woman this time. We're gonna save our dang life. Look at these guys. Well, that was the fastest thing I've ever gotten temperatures. Uh. Don't worry, guys, I got your food. Oh my God. <gasps> Look, they're hungry. Pixel, the pixel looks fine. Not tucked. So I'm guessing if there's like multiple horses, they all have like the same issue. Splots looks different. Oh, yeah. Um, what is this? Infections caused by parasitic worms, which can affect different organs. Anti parasitic substance. <laughs> Ivermectin. I think that's all I need. Let me grab this. 
And guys, I just really want to show you all the uh, the horses. Ah! Yep. Holy crap! Well, man, I don't know why that makes my freaking hair stand up. Where you at, you jerk face? I heard it. Oh, there he is. Save the horse. Oh, thank God I saved the horse. And it was Pixel. You're my favorite. Oh, God. This is the weirdest one. That was, it tried to eat you with its butthole. Alright, Pixel. Where's your friend at that needs infest care? Alright guys, y'all take care. Come here, Pixel. Sweet little horse. <laughs> well, we've done the hippo, the moose, the zebra. We gotta go back to the hub first. <laughs> Save the journalist. Thanks to his call to Lily, she didn't go to the police and remained safe and sound. Paul couldn't escape the dark zoo's walls, becoming food for the monster. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to end things here. We've seen four endings, and I'm pretty sure I've sunk seven hours into this game. And not that that's a bad thing, Zucosis has been a blast. I like the approach that it takes, but it seems like there is a crap ton of endings, all based off of different decisions that you make. And to be completely honest with you, I'm just worn out, otherwise we'd keep going. So I hope you can forgive me. But anyways, it's that time. It's time to stay frosty, stay mad, and I'll see you all in the next one.